Tonight, brand new evidence in the murder investigation of a local mom, including what her estranged husband told detectives in the days after she went missing. This is News 6 at 11. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Video from inside the interrogation room is just one of hundreds of items News 6 obtained in the investigation into Nicole Montalvo's death. Eric Sandoval spent the night going over all of that information. He is live at the state attorney's office in downtown Orlando. So, Eric, what did you find out? Well, Lisa, we got video interviews of her estranged husband, his father, his mother, and a lot more. In their own words, we hear their take of what may have happened to Montalvo. What we don't get is an explanation of how her remains ended up on their property in St. Cloud. We just want her back home, you know, home safe and sound. This interview with Christopher Otero Rivera was conducted by Osceola County Sheriff's Detectives on October 24th when his estranged wife, Nicole Montalvo, was still listed as missing. My son been asking for her, and, and as all I can tell him, oh, she's working, buddy, you know, she's working late. Detectives ask him for his cooperation. You get as much as I can give you, yeah. of course, but my dad, he knows a lot more because he's been the one that's been dealing with her. The interview is one of hundreds of files released by the state attorney's office. They included photos of the Rivera home on Hickson Avenue. The holes investigators dug in their backyard and disturbing images of buried remains, which we're not going to show. They also include calls made from jail by Rivera's father, Angel. Chris is going to have to find some place to go, man. Every time he comes to the house, he brings trauma. I try to help him. Okay, hold on. Stay on the phone. Otero Rivera's interview ends abruptly, though, after he gets a call from someone very concerned that he doesn't have an attorney. Hey, what's up? I guess it's time to go. Now, Otero Rivera and his father were arrested three days after that interview that we just showed you. Uh, the deputies are accusing them in Montalvo's murder. But as of right now, they have not been formally charged with that murder, even though a new state attorney has taken over the case. We're live at the state attorney's office in downtown Orlando tonight. Eric Sandoval getting results. New six. Back to you. Eric, thank you. And now recently, Governor Ron DeSantis reassigned this case from State Attorney Aramis Ayala's office to State Attorney Brad King's office. You can read more about what led to his decision at clickorlando.com.